How's it going? My name is Erica Belvin and I am the shop owner of Boss Babe Digital Lab on Etsy and on BossBabeDigitalLab.com. Today we're going to be editing one of my DIY logos. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do a few things that's really going to help you uh, and, and your learning curve if this is your first time editing with Cordial. Cordial is a great editing software. I love it. Um, it just takes a little bit of a you know of a learning curve, a few things that you need to learn, um, and then you'll be able to edit pretty much any of them, right? So if you have uh, uh, if you have experience with working with Photoshop, this is going to be a lot easier for you. Um, but if you don't, then I'm going to be talking about some new things, uh, some new wording that you've never heard of before, like clipping masks. Okay, um, that isn't normally said unless you work with Photoshop. So or like Illustrator, Adobe. So with that, even I believe Canva even offers clipping masks, right? So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're going to play with this logo um, and really try to answer some of the most common questions that I get in my shop about uh, editing my Cordial products. So the first thing is always, how do I edit the text? That's always seems to be one of, um, you know, the biggest questions that I do get. So. Here's the thing. So here on the right is the layer section. Sometimes it's actually down here. Some people don't realize that it's down there and you just have to click it. Um, so you wanna open up this layer section, okay? And it's going to show all the layers that I have to make this logo happen. So um, here you're going to see these orange arrows. So that means that it's a clipping mask, okay? And then you're going to see like the words. You'll ha these will all be words, but some will be pictures. And if you click them, the picture will come up. Um, if it's a text layer, the text will come up. If it's you know like a pattern, right? It'll come right up. So um, first, let's get the most basic question answered, which is how do I edit my text? It is as simple as I know a lot of people like to just click and they like to try and edit, but this won't work because I make the um, the gradients, these colors, editable for you. If I were to lock them and hide them, you wouldn't be able to change these colors, which is why I have them showing. Um, for some people, I know some people, they don't allow this and they don't allow color changes. I like mine to be fully editable for the client if they want to be able to change what they wanna change. So in that case, you do have to come over here to the actual text layer and a text box will pop right up, okay? And you'll be able to change it to what you'd like. So I'll just change it to um, my name. So now we have the name Erica. So what if we have like the name like Jacqueline, right? Jacqueline is like a super long name. Now what happened to that clipping layer? That clipping layer actually, um, it's not covering all of the word, right? So what do we need to do? Is we need to make sure that that clipping layer is selected and we're just gonna move it over the wording, okay? And if you know that this isn't gonna change, if you wanna like move this too, you can adjust how it looks, you know. Um, you can even move that glow that I have if you want it a certain way. Um, but okay, so let's say that, let's go back and let's change it back to my name. So we have my name, let's get that gradient. Um, so it goes over it the way I want it to. I want that glow to be like right in the middle, okay? There we go. And I always like to kind of like just fit the gradient over it just so that things don't get super complicated on here. Um, so the next thing is Vixen. Let's change Vixen to my last name. And again, our, um, our glitter has now not, it's now not covering my full name. So we want that to cover. So when it's a pattern, you don't want to just stretch it out. You want to stretch it diagonally so that it doesn't look stretched. So we're going to flip that just like that. So it's a little bit over it. And we're actually going to um, click Belvin and we're going to click our shift button 
We're actually going to click the chunky gold glitter right there as well. We're just going to move Belvin now since they're both selected. You don't need to keep holding down the shift. It's just one time to select both and then you can unselect both. And now, you know, now we can select all the letters and you want to select the letters with their gradients um, and patterns. Otherwise, they won't move all together. And now we've centered the word. OK, so um, let's change these big these big ones as well. So the um, L is going to be E. Right. And then again, what do we need to do? We need to, to click that uh, that layer and just stretch it. And then the V is going to be a B. Okay, and for that B, I personally want to play with the drop shadow, which I will in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna just make sure that that chunky gold glitter, whoops, that it is over it the way I want. Now let's say I want to really play with this chunky gold glitter, and I don't. I keep like pressing this one. Well, you can do something. You can actually lock the gradient. Okay, the gra that's gonna make it not editable at all and it can move around, um, you can move around the stuff below it. So now I can really play with this and find like the right part of the glitter that I like. Let's say I like that part. Let's move Erica back down. Let's move it like that maybe. And we'll move um, Belvin B, whoops, we want the B over here. And now we just need to move that gradient again. So we're going to unlock it and move it. OK. So now let's say I want to um, adjust that drop shadow a little bit. So we're going to actually not select the pattern layer because the pattern is just there um, for the coloring and things like that, the effect. We're going to select B. We're going to go to C here. Let's say we don't like this font. Now that we've selected B, we can change that font to what I have provided for you. Okay, so let's say we like that font better. Let's just lock that chunky gold glitter so I can easily move that B up. Let's unlock the chunky gold glitter and let's bring it over. Okay. Let's say I want the chunky gold glitter to have a smaller, like more defined look. All right, so now um, we've got that nice um, font change. You know, you can change the size, you can add a stroke. I mean, it's really, now you can go to the style text, okay? So here's what I've already edited for you. It's the drop shadow, but of course, this is, uh, is going to change um, with the different lettering that changes. So you'll just want that to look a little bit more um, put together, right? So that blur looks a little bit better there. It fits the B better. It doesn't look so far out like it was, right? Um, so what if we want to adjust the colors? Let's talk about that. So let's make B gold. So, um, or we can even make B pink too. So let's say I want B to be gold. I go ahead and I will select the pattern that's above B. Okay, it's called chunky gold glitter. I'm going to click style image and now I'm going to select what I have selected. Now saturation, you kind of need to like look up these terms and know what these terms are to really be able to like use them. Saturation means um, if I have it zero, there's no color there. So I need to uncheck that. Now that actually brings in the gold that is naturally there. Let's say I want to change the color. You're going to change the hue. Okay. So hue is going to allow you to change to the color that you want it to be. So if I want it to be, you know, um, purple. Let's say that's not the right purple for me and I need it more of a deeper purple. I can take the brightness down um, and the saturation I can actually bring up so that it's more of a brighter, right? Contrast, I can play with contrast. We can even bring the contrast in just a little bit. And let's see, do I have brightness? We can bring down. 
right? So now we have more of a deeper purple. As you can see, we can move it to any other. There's like even different shades of purple that come up with this. We'll make it more of like a magenta, okay? Um, so then what you wanna do, if you want that same effect in this, in this uh, word down here, you're gonna to wanna to remember this. So our saturation is 400, our brightness is 103, our contrast is 101, and our hue is negative 74. So we're gonna to go to the Belvin Chunky Gold Glitter, and our brightness is 103. Okay. Saturation is 400, contrast is 101. Oh, looks like I adjusted things. Oh, the hue's not selected. Whoops. Hue will make negative 53. Okay. And now if you notice there's this white like thing around the wording here that's not up here. That's because this word has a stroke. So if you click the style text, you'll see a stroke there. You can go ahead and change that stroke. You can uncheck it and not even have it there. I like it there. It kind of like brightens up the word a little bit more. Um, you can do like a bright version. I like brighter when it comes to strokes, um, but it's totally up to you. Okay, so now let's play with the gradient really quick. So the gradient, we're gonna go ahead and click that gradient above the E, style image, and you're just gonna mess with things. So you're gonna mess with the saturation if you want. Um, you can adjust the hue. So let's say we don't, we want this to be more of like a hot pink or we can make it blue, right? Um, saturation, let's say less, color or more color, right? So let's say saturation is 128 and hue is negative 93. So let's go to this other one. Um, whoops, we wanna to go to the gradient. The gradient Okay, and now finally, let's adjust the stroke. So again, the stroke will not be in the gradient because the gradient's just the color. So we're gonna go to the actual word style text. Let's edit that stroke there to like a bright blue. Oops. That's nice. Let's copy that so it's easy. For us, we'll go to the E, and the last thing is adjusting these lines. So this is literally just a gradient, um, and it's pushed down to make to become a line, so it matches everything else. Again, this could be any color you'd like. Let's say we want it to be. Um, one of the blues that's negative 114 we come down here negative 114 and there you have it it is literally just um you know just a few things um now let's say you want to like add your own stuff so i have actually added a few things for you Okay, so let's say you don't like um, the glitter and you wanted to actually do hologram. 
So what happens is adding this image that I've added in for you, you can now actually create your own clipping mask. You can scroll down to where that chunky gold glitter is, replace it, right? Um, throw the chunky gold glitter away and then you right click on the hologram and create clipping mask. And that actually goes on top of uh, the Belvin word. So now you have this hologram look on the Belvin word. And let's say we wanna do that for the B2. So we're actually gonna, um, we're going to replace that image with the hologram. The only thing is with replacing is that it keeps the same effects. So you gotta remove those effects, okay? And now you've got this cool like hologrammy look. Um, and then let's talk really quick about these glows. So these glows are literally just for the effect. You can take them off if you want, you can move them whatever you like. Now this one's kind of hard, so how do you get to that one? My thing is if you're trying to move things around and there's things that aren't letting you move things around, really use these locks. You can actually lock everything up um, that is over the thing that you want and now you can grab what you need and everything is stuck there. You see? It makes everything a lot easier. Once you get this, the hang of this, it's super easy. And then, you know, once you're done, like, moving stuff around, you can literally just unlock for yourself so you can make those changes that are needed. After that, you're just going to save and you'll download all your files that you need. My, photo, my files uh, that I include for these logos are uh, transparent, PNG, and JPG files. So you'll want to just, you know, edit that background, get the white version, right? There's the white. You can really adjust the drop shadow if you want. And then you can also do transparent, and that will actually download as transparent if you check that transparent button. So yeah, that is editing a logo with Boss Bay Digital Lab. I hope that helped you. Again, if this still wasn't enough, please reach out, message me. I'm pretty fast when it gets to um, messaging back my customers. It's within 24 hours, um, as long as it's not too late. <laughs> but yeah, definitely um, enjoy this logo and you know, post a review if you can and show your work. We love seeing our, our clients and their beautiful logos that they come up with um, and have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.